Hi, this is Kara with Custom Minted. I did want to take the time to explain to you about clipping masks because I get a lot of questions about it um, because not everyone understands exactly what the clipping mask is and how you use it. So when you first log into Cordial, your layers, layers panel will be down and it's important that you have it up just so you can see what you're doing and what you're actually clicking when you're clicking within the canvas. So. Um, you see where the pink foil is? If you're going to try to move the word pink, um, you'll see that it doesn't move. And that's because you actually have the pink foil selected. And here's where you'll be able to see it, back in this layers panel. Um, in order to move the word pink without clicking on the foil, you're going to have to lock this layer. I didn't lock the layers when I designed it because I did want to give people the opportunity to fully customize this if they wanted to. So you'll go back up here and you'll try to move the word pink and it moves on its own while the layer of the foil stays locked in place. Um, this is kind of important because you could unlock the pink foil layer and you can kind of move it so that, hold on, it's actually there because I'm selected, hold on. Um, You can actually uh, move it here um, and you can kind of choose what kind of effect that you want and another thing is you'll see that there's a bounding box on the outside of this and this is exactly where the end of the foil effect is so say for instance if I clicked um, the foil layer and I right clicked and I said release clipping mask then you'll see that the entire foil filter is right here so what you want to do is come back down here, click it again, and then right click and click create clipping mask again. So you would do pretty much the same thing with the gold effect over here. It's the same difference. So um, let's see, we want to go ahead and lock that just in case I need to move it. But also another thing that I wanted to point out was that here up here is where the pages are. And if you wanted to create another uh, effect, but you wanted to keep this one too, just in case, you can duplicate the page. And this is actually the fourth page now because the number changed from one to four. And so you can go through the other pages this way. But keep in mind that if you have too many pages, it will create a lag or cause Cordial to act a little bit slower because it is a lot more memory that is um, you know, running on your computer. So. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I need to talk about. Hmm. Oh, another thing is you can change these filter effects if you want to. You would just have to pretty much purchase um, from other shops uh, the different foil effects. So if you want green, blue, glitter, it doesn't matter. They sell them all. Um, one of the shops that I do use is Brandy Lee Designs. It's B-R-A-N-D-I-L-E-A -E designs, all one word, and she is on Etsy. And I'll leave a link down in the description box so that you'll be able to check out her shop. She has a lot of options, but there are also a lot of other sellers on Etsy and other markets. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, here you have uh, where you could actually change this. So if you delete the pink foil layer please keep in mind that you will have to revert it back to the original to get it back so just be careful about deleting it if you need to create another page by duplicating the page then that's what you can do but um, just know that if you delete this and you don't click undo um, it will be gone so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and this was black to begin with so if you wanted to change it to another color and you wanted to keep it a solid color you can do that as well here um, here's pink, I guess. Just depends on what you want. Um, but I'm going to just show you. Um, so you want to click add image, right? Add new image. And here is where you will drag or drop your files. So we'll go ahead and drag that in there. Um, keep in mind that if you do buy these filters, they generally are bigger than what Cordial will allow. So you'll need to get it resized, or you'll need to resize it. Um, there are plenty of sources online where you can resize something. They usually need it under 6 megabytes, I believe, for Cordial. 
So you'll get this and you upload it. It'll take a little second to um, upload the file. So just be a little patient. <laughs> okay, and so you wanna move this directly above what you're trying to create, that where you're trying to create the clipping mask. And so notice that the rose gold is right above the word organic hair care. And that's not where we're trying to apply the cl uh, clipping mask to. So you wanna drag it and you wanna put it directly above the word paint. You will click off of it and then you'll click back on it and then right click and then click create clipping mask. And there's a new effect. Keep in mind that if you accidentally move it above the word posh or something, that will disconnect the foil effect on both of the words. So you need to be careful with that. So you would just unlock this and then you would also click on the rose gold layer, move it back over the word posh, I mean on pink, and then gold would be back above posh. So you'll just um, click it and then create clipping mask. And then you'll go here and also create um, another clipping mask. Sometimes you may need something like a, I guess, drop shadow um, if you're putting it above a certain color and it won't show as well. You can always create one by coming here to style text and click on drop shadow. And they have another, all these other cool effects that you can use, you can play around with and try to figure it out. Just whatever look that you're going for, it doesn't have to be anything specific, like, um, but you can play around with these. So, I guess you get the point. But um, I can't really think of any other things to add, but, if you do have any other questions, feel free to inbox me and let me know. And if it's a question that comes up enough, I'll just make a video or a tutorial kind of like addressing it. So just let me know. And thank you for your business and happy editing.